They're supposed to pop up the little diagram here. So I thought it could be instructive to uh, just uh, uh, yeah, lean back a little bit and have a look on the population age structure, some examples, and the demographic processes that uh, create population age structures. So this is, uh, yeah, and the population processes that are fertility, migration, and mortality. And then by singling out these factors, you might can also have a better idea on where to focus policy interventions and attention. So this is uh, the population age structure of Sweden, where I'm coming from, women and men in suitable colors from age zero at the bottom, and then you have all the way up to the top where people start to die off, die off at the very highest ages. Uh, and the very decisive uh, uh, factor to create this population age structure is fertility. So it's a relatively balanced population age structure, and that is due to the relatively high fertility uh, that has been close to pop uh, yeah, the replacement levels for, for yeah, ever, <laughs> or, or almost 100 years. Uh, as long as this, po this uh, population age structure has been created. There are some fluctuations. Uh, they have been created by fertility fluctuations in the past, but on the average, fertility has been close to replacement level. So if you look on cohort fertility, it has been very stable. And this is maintained by uh, social structures that make it easy to combine working and family life. So it's not so much about the economic incentives, it's not that one pay people to have children, it is really to provide inf social infrastructures that make it possible to organize lives. So that can be through parental leave and childcare systems from society, but it's also based on gender relations, what's happening in the family, and also workplace cultures where it's allowing for, for people with small children to part of the life course that, uh, that it, it allows for other time, time organizations. So then we have migration, which mainly adds or subtracts people at the middle ages, uh, in the 20s where people are more mobile. Uh, and this factor has relatively little impact on the population age structure. It uh, has a big uh, visible role in political debate, but it adds both in short term and long term relatively little to the population age structures. The third factor, unless there is very big migration, okay, and, and we have had relatively very high immigration in the last decade in Sweden, but it still, it adds people in the, in the middle ages, working ages, and childbearing ages, but it doesn't distort the population age structures very much. Okay, and the third factor is mortality. So people live longer, longevity is increasing, and this is, of course, a very positive development, and it's also a positive development that people also live uh, healthy, uh, lives longer, healthy life expectancy. Uh, it is mainly the last year of life where there's a lot of care and, 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 and health care interventions needed, but it's also then uh, an increase in healthy life expectancy. Okay, I should, <laughs> I see the numbers ticking there. Uh, but uh, then of course it is necessary when people live longer to also adjust pension ages, retirement ages. Uh, People in their 60s, early 70s are totally productive and able to, to contribute to working life. And in Sweden, there has been done increases by pension ages. There's a pension system where the demographic parameters are built in. So life expectancy, if that increases X years, then the pension ages go up X years. And it's also interesting that these increases in retirement ages has been implemented without any visible protest in society. Then we take a contrasting example. Okay, first I would let's say then demographic challenges, question mark. Yeah. So Swedish policymakers, they seem to think that this with aging societies is a big challenge. So I have a little bit hard to see that this is a very big challenge. It goes very relatively slowly and it is of course perfectly able to adjust, including with pension ages. Uh, and then here we have another example, and that is Greece where we are. And here we have a challenge, yeah. So uh, the, the title of this summit is the, the, the emergency, question mark. It's not yet an emergency, but it is a little bit of a ticking bomb. You see these huge cohorts that are contributing to the economy in their 40s and 50s, 
but will in with a few decades they will retire and put a lot of pressure on uh, <coughs> on social systems in Greece if nothing is done. And here, of course, it is absolutely necessary to also adjust the pension ages that people need to, to work longer. And this population age structure, it also totally uh, created by fertility developments, past fertility developments. You can see that each uh, cohort, cohort, parental cohort, if you look 20, 25, 30 years back, is much smaller than the parental cohort. So the, the base of the, the pyramid is getting smaller and smaller. And there is also no reason to not address this basic cause of, of the, the population, uh, population ch change. Yeah? Uh, there is very clear that there is an unmet demand for having children in Greek society. There is a big difference between stated fertility preferences in the early life course and the actual outcome. So there are structural constraints that prevent people from having the number of children they want to have, uh, based on lack of possibility to combine working and family life, <coughs> uh, also based on uh, biased gender relations within family, family structures, and perhaps uh, workplace culture. I think I will show one more example, since we have the guest from Bulgaria. <laughs> So you can see it's a similar uh, development, but a little bit lagging behind. So the fertility decline come later in Bulgaria with the fall of the communism. And you can see that these distorted uh, age structures come a little bit later. And here you can also see that there seems to be an impact of migration, immigration of young adults. There is a, 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 yeah, there is a lacking people in, in their 20s where there is the, the migration ages. So here migration subtracts people and also add to the demographic challenges. So I think I will uh, be disciplined and, and stop almost on time. <laughs>